Hi everyone, before this video starts I can confirm that there are no images of injured animals as promised. I would also like to point out I am not making any money from this video. This video has been made to try and help Australia, its animals and its people. Hey guys, um, I said I was going to do a video about what's going on in Australia. Our media picks up on it and then they drop it and this is not something that I feel can afford to be yesterday's news. I'm speaking to people in Australia at the moment on social media and Australia is still on fire. It's not going away. The fires have not stopped. So last week, Prince William unveiled the Earthshot Prize. It is the equivalent of a, I guess, a Nobel Peace Prize, but for environmentalists. How we can solve 50 of the world's biggest problems that are obviously damaging the planet within the next 50 years. It's a great incentive and it's more to do with problem solving rather than people screaming and shouting. Um, we've had the likes of Greta Thunberg, obviously like directing a lot of anger towards the Australian government, screaming and saying it's because of global warming, it's because you don't listen to global warming. That's not helping anyone at the moment. You can pass the buck, you can pass the blame at later stages. Australia does still need help and for some reason it's in the news one minute and not the next. The Australian fires are not stopping. Kangaroo Island, I found out about half hour ago, is under another threat. As some of you know, Australia has a endangered species now, which is the koala. And uh, Kangaroo Island is the only part of Australia where the koalas are disease free. They are affected by a disease called chlamydia. Yes, it is the one that obviously um, affects humans, but it kills koalas. And Kangaroo Island is the only place where they are disease free. This is why the government is saying, if you rescue koalas, please do not take them to the mainland they will never be able to return but given the latest weather announcement in Kangaroo Island I'm not sure they're going to have much to return to they reckon already half the population has already been wiped out due to the last few years very little rain the fires have spread at an alarming rate Australia has had a couple of years where they have not had heavy rainfall towns are being wiped off the map, we are not talking just a few homes being burnt down, entire towns are disappearing, people are being evacuated. This is really, really serious. Now the government were warned to start the back burning again, especially when they had minimal rainfall after the last couple of years. They refused to listen. Did you know also that the government only sent in the army reserves four days ago to help, basically on a 4th of January. These fires have been raging for, for months really, since like before Christmas, but the army reserves only literally got sent in a matter of days ago around about the same time that our royal family decided to say oh our hearts are with you that's no bloody good is it this country is in serious need of help and I'd like to make a point that I am not taking everything off media posts I am speaking directly with people in Australia so I'm hearing a lot of direct information real accounts that are happening from people some of the photographs that I am using in this video are not from the media these are from people's iPhones Australia have always had bushfires yes they are having a massive heat wave but due to controlled burning stopping you now have a massive fuel load on the ground the many reasons why controlled fires have dramatically been reduced is because they are only to be carried out by set government officials whereas people used to manage the land themselves they have been stopped they have to have permits the permits a lot of the time are very hard to obtain um, the permits will get turned down because a rare species of bug or an animal might live in that tree or it might be a type of now protected tree and this obviously stops the average Joe from doing the burnings now okay I understand that you need to protect certain things but look what not doing anything has done now they have potentially wiped out entire species of animals billions of animals are dying um, billions of trees there might be certain types of plants and trees that are never ever going to recover one of the people I'm speaking to is a nurse called Tonya. Her husband is actually captain of a team of firemen in a small town in South Australia. She sent me lots of useful information. She's keeping me up to date with the news. She is the one that's informed me today that Kangaroo Island is now under massive, massive threat of these fires spreading. No one has started them, but weather conditions have not allowed the original fires to be put out. The entire island is now under threat. Tony has also explained to me that the government, under their current government, that the fire services across Australia have had massive cutbacks to their funding. They are also suffering from a lack of equipment. And I just don't understand why this seems to be moving so slowly when this is the worst 
fires that they have had in years and years and years. The devastation, the fallout of this is not just going to be over within a couple of months. This is going to go on for years. This is, this is a worldwide tragedy that's going on. People can pass the buck, they can pass the blame, you can shout at the government, you can say it's because of green policies, you can say it's because of arsonists. Now is not the time to do it. Now is the time to see what all of us as individuals can do to help. So what can we do as in you, me? Right, you can make donations. They are also in desperate need of Joey pouches, of mittens being knitted for animals with burnt paws. Now I'm just gonna include some bits and bobs in here and I will put all the direct links to all of these in the description of this video. You can get in contact with whatever ones that you want. This is a print that Tonya sent me for the mittens for the koalas. There's several addresses here I will include. Just pause the screen, write it down if you can help then please get the donation sent out to them. The first address is for Rescue Craft Co. I have included a link to their Facebook on their Facebook. They have also researched, I'll put a screenshot here. This shows the number of different people that you can donate to. They have checked because there are a lot of scams on GoFundMe. These are all genuine ones. If you do not feel comfortable going on GoFundMe, then please, you know, just, just Google actual local charities. I've donated to the Koala Hospitals, to Wires. But there are so many different areas. Kangaroo Island does have a GoFundMe page. It is on that Rescue Craft page. Kangaroo Island does have its own. It is genuine. The same with the mittens. Here's another address where you can send the mittens, the pouches, material. You can just get on Google and get in touch with them directly. And for those of you that, like me, that can't knit, that maybe don't have the money to donate, but really, really want to make a difference, share. Share this video, do your own post, shout about it on Facebook, on social, use social media for good, use it as a platform. What is happening is not last week's news, this is happening every day, the fires are getting worse, the fires are going to continue to get worse. Do not let what we're reading or what you're watching now become yesterday's news. So thank you very much for watching, as I said, please share this video as much as you can, let's raise as much awareness, let's get donations out there, let's get people knitting, let's just show the world that so many of us out there there do really care. All right, I'll be back very soon with my usual content and um, yeah, take care guys. And to all all of you in Australia, I'm, I'm so sorry for what's happening. And um, please, please, please understand there are so many of us that really care about what's happening to you.